Chicken and rice is probably one of the most iconic dishes ever and this is my healthier version of it. Starting off with the chicken. This recipe is enough for two people and I will use 200 gram of pieces of chicken breast and 200 gram of chicken thighs that I will remove the skin and also the small pieces of fat. Chicken thighs has slightly more calories but in my opinion has also a lot more flavor than chicken breast. I will season them with salt and set them aside. Then I will take a bowl for the marinade and start with 100 gram of non-fat Greek yogurt. This particular one has 60 calories and 10 grams of protein. Then I will squeeze in the juices of half a lemon, followed up by a bit of salt, one teaspoon of dry oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a couple of cranks of black pepper. Then I will give this a nice mix and dump in all of my chicken. I will coat everything with my hands in the marinade. And now you can either fry or grill this right away, or put this into the fridge for up to four hours. However, don't marinate this for too long, like overnight, or the acid in the marinade will start to denature the protein and turn the meat chalky. Next up is the sauce. I will add in 100 gram of the same Greek yogurt in a small container, then I will add in a bit of salt, pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, then I will chop up some fresh dill and add it in, I will cut some piece of cucumber, remove the skin, chop it up in very small pieces and also add it in. And the last ingredient are these beautiful looking pickled onions. I will add a nice tablespoon of onions and then also some of the vinegar, maybe three to four tablespoons. Now give everything a mix. You can also add in a touch of olive oil that will work incredibly nice in this sauce and set this aside. Next up is the rice. I will start with washing 150 gram of jasmine rice. This will remove the starch from the surface of the rice grain, thus preventing it from becoming too clumpy and sticky when cooking. You don't have to do this if you like rice that is more sticky. Then I will heat up a pot at medium heat, spray a touch of olive oil inside, and then I will add a small chopped up red onion and also a teaspoon of cumin. If you don't like cumin, you can also go with turmeric or chili powder. Now fry this for 1 to 2 minutes and then I will add in the juices of one entire lemon. Don't squeeze the lemon through your hands in the pot because this will create tons of steam that will burn your fingers. Add everything first into a glass and then into the bowl. Here you see the steam, be very careful. Now the rice goes in and I will add to 150 grams of rice 250 grams of water. For me personally this is the best ratio. Now I will bring the pot to a light simmer and then switch the heat to low and let this cook with the lid on top for 12 to 15 minutes. After that I will check the rice and if it's ready I will add in some salt and also a nice bunch of fresh chopped up mint. This will work amazing with the lemon and the cumin, give everything a last mix and keep it warm aside. Now let's grill the chicken. I will add in a spray of olive oil into a pan on medium heat and then I will add in the chicken Try to remove as much excess marinade as you can and fry this for around 5 to 7 minutes. The marinade will create this beautiful golden color on the outside. I will check with a thermometer until the meat is ready. Around 74 degrees Celsius. Now before I start to play it, I would really appreciate a click in the like button if you in fact enjoyed the video. Thank you! So into a plate goes 200 gram of meat per person with half of the rice and a nice amount of the yogurt pickled onion sauce. I mean, look at this beautiful plate. The entire recipe comes in with 1,158 calories, 135 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat, and 115 grams of protein. So it's around 600 calories and 60 grams of protein per serving. Check this video out if you want to know how to make a 500 calorie shrimp risotto. Consider to subscribe to the channel to see more healthy food videos and see you in the next one.